So guys, Jumaik and Nadia Barry have been training for the past three days, and this is why. So Jumaik, on his recent interview or podcast, he was asked if he has had a sexual relationship with Nadia Barry or any kind of relationship with Nadia Barry, but he said he doesn't know her. He went out with Nadia Barry, right? Who is that? Right. Okay, let me tell you who she is. She is this pop. lovely bombshell who is Ghanaian, by the wow, way. Okay. She's also in the movie industry. And yes. rumor had it that you guys had a hey, thing. Hey, When you were grinding. What, what do you mean? Something was a call. What do you term I'm the one asking the, the questions what here. That's what I'm asking. No, 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 what no, no, do you no, no, term no. as a thing? A thing means you guys dated, had a sexual relationship or... Amazing. Romantic the relationship. thing is the most insignificant Jim, thing. Jim, I'm the one asking the questions here. So I'm defining a thing to you. So is that what happened between the both? of you no i'm <laughs> defining a thing okay so did you have <laughs> a relationship with her <laughs> sip the tea oh, are you asking me yes whether we if you, if you guys dated Sick. if was, it was it sexual oh wow. it's english <laughs> it was it sexual? it could be if, if, did you have sex, sex with her no within <laughs> all with every earnesty I okay thought you don't we're here you don't seek kiss and tell actually okay. have the proper conversation no this is it's a proper conversation then where's the bottle of alcohol it's really not and this got the internet talking. Guys, if you like the video, make sure you subscribe to this channel and click on the notification button and leave a comment. Let's continue. And currently, as I speak, Jimaik is in Ghana on a radio tour. And today on his latest interview in Ghana, he explained everything about the interview he did in Nigeria. Okay, and I'm so glad we are doing this on the Star Drive. Now, exclusive. Is, exclusive. Now, this is what How is Nadia Bwari? Now, this is what's going to happen. You know her now? You're going to give me three minutes to answer this question. Three minutes? Uninterruptedly. Uninterrupted. Uninterrupted. Okay. You have to agree to this deal, then I'll deal with it. If you don't, we'll move forward. Is that the only... I will, I will play the fifth like the last time. Like, who is it? <laughs> I will move forward. But if you give me three minutes, I will explain it. Carefully. Is that all you need? That's all I need. Three minutes. Live that's on Star 103.5. So, our address is for now, and that's it. And now, for the last time? For the last time. It will never... That, if this question ever arises anywhere, I'll shut it down okay great and thank you for giving us this opportunity exclusively good, good. okay so here's after this platform you will not respond no, to I anywhere will not again respond to it ever okay I promise you what happened in that conversation that podcast conversation now listen um i just finished my directorial debut right. and they reached my team and said tiktok yeah reached my team and said they would like an exclusive between me chidi mokeme and kate henshaw i'm giving you the backstory real really quickly and I said, I will get involved. My team, my manager told them I'll get involved on one singular reason that we'll talk about our new project, which is Rent a Room, my directorial debut that I shot in Miami and Houston. Then we were about less than a week away from our first premiere. That understanding being made, we got to the platform. Now, Toke is an awesome, awesome host. But of course, she has to also stir up some you know, controversy of sorts. That's what the show is about. Don't forget, the show is called The Tea. There's a way a question is coined. It will have a certain dignity about it. But the, the understanding of that segment is they are going to ask you a difficult question. You refuse to answer. You drink tea. Okay, you have a sip of tea. So I decided, <laughs> listen, even alcohol at that point, I'm going to take it to lose this question. If I answer this question, anyone answer this question, it's a lose-lose. And I will explain very carefully why it's a lose-lose. Right. If I were to glorify this conversation, okay, and say, hey, glowing things about it, it would be at the detriment of the person I'm with. Yeah. And also at the detriment of the person she's with. Yeah. Which husband wants to hear about an ex talking about yeah. sexual explicity with the person he is with? Yeah. People don't even understand that this was an act of respect. Yeah. You understand me? Because I, I'm beginning to think that common sense is, is an anathema in the court of social media mm -hmm. and people that use the internet, you know, they get emotional for no reason. If a 10 second clip, you refuse to see the stretch of the clip mm -hmm. to have a full wholesome understanding of a matter before you comment. They didn't show the part where I was saying, hey, guys, this was not the agreement. Your understanding was that I'm supposed to have a full-blown conversation about very serious issues. Mm. But here you are talking about a mother of five or six kids at this mm. point mm. that's married to another man. And I'm also evidently with somebody. And you want me, and the question was that, have you had sex with her? People, people don't even get that part. Mm. They weren't asking, they were asking certain explicit questions that if I were to answer, first of all, if I talk glowingly about it, at the end of the day, I will look bad with the person I'm with, 
she's going to look bad with the person she's with. Now, if I were to talk derogatorily about it, talk down on it, what kind of a man would I be? Now, I've also had several relationships, some high-level individuals hmm. in this land. I've never been that kind of man that come out and start talking about it. In a few years, our kids between us are going to have access to the internet. And what do you want them to unearth every time they go there? That I'm the kind of man that was there talking about an ex. Which, which husband or wife wants to hear about an ex? Have you people even taken that into consideration to start with? And if you were to say, listen, I don't want to talk about this thing, it will look defensive. It will look like I have something to hide. Then mm. that will also unearth another barricade of questions. Mm. But if I kill it dead on arrival, as soon as I ask the question, I say, who is that? For crying out loud, you know this thing existed. Why do you want me to validate it? Why do you want me to talk about something that happened in another phase of my life? Do you even realize this happened over a decade ago? Mm. And we have, I mean, everybody's living and respecting individual life. The greatest exhibition of disrespect I've that paid on a public platform is to talk about a married woman with five kids mm. or more. I don't know. I don't even know the status right now. Mm. It's just totally out of context, totally mm. disrespectful. And there's no how I would have answered that question without sounding a little ominous, without sounding disrespectful, mm. and one way or the other not, without offending both parties. So I pleaded the fifth, took a, an easy route out. Yes, it was an easy route, but that was the easiest route. I am not the kind of person that will arm the court of public opinion with the gossiping needs to talk about people mm. or anybody that I've been with. I don't care. Because the status quo, for the most part, is usually... You know, when you bash an ex-relationship, then you give them the tea they need to go talk about stuff. Mm. And that's, how I was, that's why I said, who is that? If you don't know who is that, then the, who, who it is or what, whatever existed about 10 years ago, then you do have a problem because you're not going to hear from me. So anybody that does not understand why I took that stance seriously needs a common sense check. Seriously needs the common sense check. If